Relax. No one's gonna hurt you. The ones here left might, but the others managed to put him in his place, so... I think he's a hemp. It's too violent to be a girl. But just like all bullies, it's just a fright and let a lump inside. Hi. What's your name? I don't talk to strangers. That's good, and you shouldn't. But I don't want to be a stranger. I'd like us to be friends. You seem nice, but um, you're still a stranger. Aren't all people strangers before they become friends? I'm Anderson. Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. I see that you're catching crickets. I loved to do that when I was your age. Was that a long time ago? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I suppose it was. Can I take a look at your jar? Okay, but um, be careful. They're fragile. Don't worry. I'm very gentle. My mom say I have to keep them in the jar because one time I had them in a box and they got all over the house. My moms weren't happy about that. I could tell you that for nothing. Your moms? Yeah, they're in the cabin making dinner right now. Do they have names? The one at the top is called Jumpy. No, I, I meant your moms. Oh. Cassidy and Jennifer. What do you call this one? That's Carl. He's my new one. Carl the Cricket. How do you tell them apart? Just get to know. You know, after a while. I didn't give my names. I didn't think to do that. How did you study their behavior? I'm good at measuring behavior. Measuring? Not like with a ruler or anything. I just observe them and take notes on their vulnerabilities. I like how they all have different personalities. Like some are quiet, some are crazy, and some are even violent. Just like people, right? I guess. What type of cricket personality would you be? I don't know. Quiet? Maybe inquisitive? I can see that. Uh, well, there's crazy and violent left. Which one are you? Well, can't we both be quiet and inquisitive? In my class, there's a whole mix of different personalities, like Max, there's no way he's quiet. Like, our teacher puts her fingers in her ears because he's so loud, and she says that he only has two moods, ear piercing and off, like nothing in between. And because, like, he shouts, you know, and she tells him to use his inside voice, but it's definitely an outside voice because, like, he does not have an inside voice. So you're the only quiet one. Interesting. Yeah, my teacher says I'm too quiet, though. Like, whenever I raise my hand, she always picks Max, because, well, like, he's... The loudest. Right. How does that make you feel? I don't know why. You want to know what I think? I think your teachers like the boisterous ones. I like the quiet ones. Are you a teacher? No. Do you have kids? Not any of my own. I have a stepson, had a stepson. My wife passed away and 
His dad took custody of him. Do you miss him? What's up? Nothing. Nothing at all. How old are you? I'm ten. Ten? Wow. That's exactly how old I was when I was your age. Well, ten and a half, really. I'm about to turn eleven in three weeks. Well, nearly happy birthday, then. Just so happens I have something for you. I figured I'd keep it until I met somebody like you. A flower. You see the petals? We can play the friend game. When we get done, we'll know each other better and we'll be better friends. Okay. I'll start. What's your favorite food? Chick-fil-A. I agree. Now, your turn. Why are you here? Anderson? Why am I here? I guess I'm here to make friends with you. And maybe your mom's. What's the worst thing that's happened to you? I was bullied at school. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have asked. It's okay. I can't imagine why anyone would want to bully you. How does that make you feel? Like there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, Ben. You're perfect. Yeah, well, tell that to the bullies. I would. And I'd take care of them for you. Have you ever felt like there's something wrong with you? Oh, there is something wrong with me, Ben. If you could see inside me, you see my heart is broken. Why is it broken? Because of what I've got to do today. What have you got to do? I have an important job to do. In fact, it may be the most important job in the world. Are there more people coming? Are they your friends? You're my friend, Ben. And I'm yours. No matter what happens today, I want you to remember that. You and your moms, the three of you are going to have to make some tough decisions. Terrible decisions. And I wish with all my broken heart that you didn't have to. Ben, nothing that's going to happen today is your fault. Ben, I, it would break my heart if you thought any different. Ben, do you understand? Ben, I need you to understand. Ben, you do understand, don't you? Ben! <laughs>